first swather going down the road. Saying goodbye to an old friend. Serve me well. All the greener pastures. All right, guys. Here we are in the shop. Um, I've had several people ask for an update on the 5288. So thought I'd do a quick video on that. It probably won't be very long, but it'll give you an idea of what we're doing. Honestly, I haven't been able to spend near as much time on it as I'd like. We, uh, we just had our first child, and so I've been spending a lot of time at home. But uh, I have made some progress. First thing I did was change the oil, um, which is fairly simple there. And uh, we got the cab all stripped out. You see here, there's the old seat. So what these seats are, and I'll show you inside there too, it's a hydraulic seat. So this right here at one time had a hydraulic ram inside here. And yeah, it was ran off hydraulics. But from what I've read, they had a big tendency to leak, which this one did. I mean, the floor of this cab was just gross. I ripped it all out. It's not, it wasn't that garbage can, but I threw it all away. So I took the floor down to nothing. It's just metal. And I've been cleaning everything up in here. Um, and I got a new seat. So this is actually a mechanical seat. Um, spring suspension from Vivor. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Um, the reviews on them were pretty good. And... It was only, everyone says to get an air seat, but I didn't want to spend that much money. And this fit, and it's actually fairly comfortable. I was able to use the stock bolts. So you can kind of see in here, there's the stock bolt. You can see my shavings down here. You have to drill the hole out bigger, um, but it will work. So I only put in two bolts because the one back here, it just didn't line up right, but it's plenty rigid. Um, so yeah, that's a seat from Vivor. And you can see too, I pulled out the whole cab kit. That's all cleaned up there. And so that's all done. Took a while to get all that clean. I got a cab kit from Fair. It's right here. It's that pretty kind of floral style, which I think is really neat in these tractors. And you're probably wondering why I didn't put it on. Oh, I got to put that on the seat. But you're probably wondering why I didn't put it on. But I just want to take the tractor out. It's two bolts on that seat, so it's easy to get in and out. So I want to take the tractor out, do a little spring work with it, make sure everything's running good um, before I mess with that plus i've just got some other projects i've got to get in here and get done so i think i'm just going to run this for a while and then bring it in and you know maybe later this summer or this winter i'll do that but for those who decide to want to do this seat um little advice so you gotta there's two bolts you gotta take the armrest on that side off it won't fit into the stock location with that on so that's pretty simple to do. And then, like I said, just drill out those front holes, make them a little bit bigger, and you can put the stock bolts right in there. You can see right here, there used to be hoses coming out of there. And that was for the hydraulics. So I just grind, uh, took my uh, grinder and cut that off. So they're down nice and low. And then what you have to do is this seat had been leaking. So they had the hoses, the two hoses connected together and blocked off. But I did it the right way and grab my light here. Probably can't see it, but see that shinier cap right there? I capped it right there. And then there's another cap just like it on the other side. Got those caps on Amazon as well. So the hydraulics are capped now, so the seat won't leak anymore. So yeah, we're, I still need to get that window. And um, the only other thing I noticed, it's got a pretty good hydraulic leak coming from somewhere right there. I got to figure that out, but you can see that is all kind of softened. But 
we're making some progress on it it's not going to be any show queen that's not my intention for it it's just going to be a good working tractor and and you know at some point i might polish it and stuff but i think for now i'm just gonna finish this uh clean up the cab a little bit put it in a window and then put it to work so that's kind of the update on the 5288 hopefully that appeases you guys who are wondering about it and hopefully i'll have some more a little bit soon i just got actually got a baler that i'm going to run on this and uh that's going to be in an upcoming video but thank you guys for taking the time to check it out be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell and i'll talk to you next time